What's up, boys? Welcome to the episode of what I'm playing today. Rakugaki, Rakugaki for Steam, Windows. I still don't know what to call it. I guess it's not. I'm playing on Win. Oh damn, we got set up. We got set up. Uh, this, this. I don't even know if this controller supports freaking. Uh, why? All right, cool. I know this controller supports. Ooh. Turn me up, daddy. Ugh. I like this. Modern. Let's see. Five health. When falling, respawn. Okay. Ooh. Three. Uh, okay. Okay. We'll, we'll start modern. We'll start modern. All right. Let's just do this. She said hello. I'm I'm already I'm hype. God, I'm so glad I bought this Dell XPS like four years ago during the pandemic to make videos. Cause now it's just a gaming laptop. This is amazing. Like I didn't intend to play games on this, but the fact that I can, incredible. Oh, it's like basically Persona. Oh my gosh, she looks like On from Persona. He looks like generic JRPG. I think this is a Korean game though, right? Is it Korean? Or is it... J no, because that's Bada. That's, uh, that's Japanese. Alright, it's basically, it's basically Persona 5, alright? So, I know nothing really about this game other than I saw like two minutes of trailer or whatever it was and was like, oh, junk, this reminds me of Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. Oh, junk, this reminds me of Jet Set Radio. And uh, because I've lately been on a Steam kick, I'm wasting all of my money on Steam and I'm just buying things and I can't, I can't stop. So, Rakugaki, here we go. Uh, ooh. Yeah, this game is hopefully going to be good. Hopefully loading times aren't bad. All right, come on. Give me a tutorial. Oh, is it like a like a, a some cyberpunk stuff? Am I supposed to hit a, a? Nothing's happening. Oh, it's just it's just pictures. That's kind of weird. Oh, this is kind of weird. It's like a visual novel. That's uh. Let's see. I'm not reading all this. I'm sorry. Um. Yeah, this reminded me kind of like a Solar Ash, like a Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. And I'm really, really into 3D platformers right now, thanks to uh, Yellow Taxi Goes Room. Like, I always have kind of loved 3D platformers, especially ones that are similar to Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, well, Sonic Adventure and things like that. And uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk got me back into that late last year. And I'm just, I'm here. Okay, so we're trying to cover screens. I love it. I'm playing this on a screen, but it's like anti-consumption, anti-digital tech, anti-groupthink, anti-Rihanna. Yeah, let's do this. All right, let me let me play. Ooh, this looks kind of good. It looks kind of good. Oh, there's like some. Was that screen tearing? Oh, that's like a freaking Mario sound effect. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. What I'll do here is. Oh no, this isn't good. This is not good. All right, so clearly I am not capable of playing this. Well, now it's fine. All right, let's see. You can attack with square. Dodge, you can double dodge. You can, yeah, it looks like you can just double dodge. Oh, get those coins. Coin, coin. A simple coin. Use it to buy gear, paint colors, and graffiti designs. Um, this is, speaking of Nintendo Voice Guy, um, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, which you won't see this till after that, but uh, there's a Nintendo Direct tomorrow, and that's that's exciting, because maybe they'll be like, Minasan, 
new switch. Uh, I don't, I can't say all that. I'm sorry. But they're like, everyone, this is the new switch. And I'll be like, oh my goodness, so exciting. Oh, thank God. It just auto, auto collects. That's, I love that. Um, all right. So far, this feels like a platformer. I'm, I promise you, I will not play the rest of this game on this platform. I'll probably play it on the Steam Deck. Spray paint cans. All right, cool. I have eight cans. L2 to paint. Oh, it's just one, it's just one go. That's cool. Wait, wait, what does it say? Consume spray paint cans. All right, cool. Oh, full 3D camera. All right, does, does drifting? Drifting doesn't. Oh, that's so sick. That's so stylish. That's so stylish. Oh, okay, get up there. This is, I'm actually, I think I'm going to love this game already. Checkpoint. Um. I think I'm gonna love this game already. Can you, okay, you can hover, but okay. Hover is, is right trigger while in midair. What is this? Oh, it's press LT to paint. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like Jet Set. It's like Bomb Rush. It's, it's like all those games. I saw this game only got a seven out of 10 and I'm wondering why. And I kind of hope, oh wait, can you? Oh, you can double jump after, after starting your glide. That's dope. How do you? Can I turn? I can't turn. Oh, you guys shoot! Oh my God, it's basically near Automata, with with the little Robo guy. How you could shoot, like you could shoot while she's she she's attacking, and then she's shooting. She's shooting. That's so cool. Oh, there's a wall jump. Wait, there's wall jump. Wall jumps will work. Super Mario was Super Mario sixty four the first three D platform game with a wall jump. I wonder. All right, we can just we just gotta we gotta skate. Let's go. Oh, look at that jump. Oh, oops. All right. This does feel a little bit. It's kind of floaty and kind of slow. In this regard. Get those coins. Um. The platform is kind of floaty and slow, and because of that, I was like, it's hard to wall jump. I mean, she's pretty cyberpunk. I like those shoes. I like those shoes. Those shoes are pretty sick. Surf. Okay, we're going downhill. We're 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 going fast. We're we're basically sliding. We're basically kind of grinding. It's basically a Sonic game. If we're being honest, this is basically a Sonic game. This music is really good. Like this just sounds cyberpunky AF. And I'm here for it. Oh, is that I was wondering if that was Death Water. Can I hit can I kill the people? Oh, they're brain they're freaking brain drained. I I wanna get all the things, I'm sorry. Seems like this will be a fairly simple game, and it's going to be more about movement. I hope you can find a way to go faster. I would not mind being able to go faster. Also, wonder maybe I like I never read, I didn't read any of the reviews. I saw that it was uh, this game got like a seven out of ten. I think I don't know if it was Metacritic or what. Um, what is G? Oh, is G like your graffiti points? You got graffiti, so go watch my. Uh, oh, it's basically Granny statue from. Uh, What's it called? Yellow Taxi Girl's Room. Go watch my when I'm playing episode on Jet Set Radio. I have my Xbox hooked up too in this room and I need to play some more of that. But I've been busy, you know? I've been living life. Is this ray tracing? No, it's not ray tracing. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Let's just press LT to destroy. Okay. She can destroy that whole thing. Oh, we got lags. We got lags. We got lags. Does that mean I lose my little my little buddy? I like these splash screens. Is that what they're called? This kind of reminds me of a uh, oh what was that game? It was that Cyberpunk game, not Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, but it was that ice like a uh, oh god, not Citizen Sleeper. Um. What's it called? Home 
home sweet home. Oh, God. Okay, this is going to bother me. The best Cyberpunk games. Here we go. I have an episode of, of it on my channel, too, which is crazy. It's not Citizen Sleeper. It's not Ghost Runner. Is it Citizen Sleeper? No, it's not. It's not that. It's not that. I don't know, but go find it. Go go look at my one and play episodes. It's in there somewhere. All right, I'm gonna just do it because I'm here. Hello. Why are we at the hideout again? Oh god. Okay. Okay. Let's just, let's just go to content. Like this is this is peak brand plays games here. So I only have to scroll through like 274 games in my playthrough in my playlist. So no big deal. All right. I'm getting closer. I know it. It's not Scarlet Nexus. I know exactly what the game is when I see it too. It's not Solar Ash. The Ascent. Oh, yes. The Ascent. Kind of reminds me of that. All right. All right. Two. Okay. So this is like any other game. We got to destroy the... Uh, we got to destroy the towers. This is basically Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. That game freaking sucks. No, it's fine. Like, it's okay. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's, Rebirth is okay. But at the end of the name, at the end of the day, it's not. It's just too long and too drawn out. I prefer the far more streamlined experience of the first game. Especially because this game is going to end in a cliffhanger anyway. I'd rather not spend, you know, 200 hours doing random junk. All right, what do we do? What what do we what do we? Oh God! Oh God! It's laggy. Black book, interact. Oh, it's, that's just our log. Oh my God! Why is there a mouse on screen? I thought this. I thought it hides the mouse. That's weird. Do I need the mouse? Me for the time. Me for the time. Coin spray paint. Couldn't be me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I know someone who says that. All right, I'm not gonna read all that stuff now. Wardrobe, oh, we can get coins. We can use coins, hopefully, to buy things. I just want DJ Professor K to be like, you got a graffiti soul. Can you remove the jacket? Oh, she can, she can, you can remove the jacket. Can you rem no. <laughs> You can remove this default skirt, you can remove the skirt. Oh, oh, it looked the same. I was like, that's weird. Look at uh, <laughs> can't, can you remove the shoes? All her little shoes have smiley faces. That's cool. Alright. That's fine. What's this? Is this something? Is it soundtrack? This is a piano. It's a keyboard. Her 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 uh jumpy sound is kinda interesting. Is this like the next level? I like her jump, how it, it's kind of like she's like flinging herself. Oh, I can't go in there? Oh, can I shoot? Oh, he's stuck inside. That's cool. Okay, um, where am I supposed to go? I think I'm supposed to just go that way. I wasn't really paying attention to the cutscenes, so you know, it's just kind of... You know I me, mean? I just, I play the game and I don't pay attention, so then... I try to figure it out as I go along. Oh, can I play? Oh, you can grind? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, I can't do anything with that. Can I, can I grind? Oh, there you go. That was weird that... Wait, wait, wait. How do I... Oh, wait, wait. Okay. So, let's see. Ooh, print. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. This is, this is, this is what happens. Oh, if you just press RB while on the ground. I was trying to press RB while jumping on it. So you can jump on the things, but you can also just RB. Right bumper, as it were. Oh, you can homing attack. It's basically a Sonic game. It's, it's a homing attack. Alright. Alright, this is going to be kind of cool. I can see this maybe being a little bit shallow. Tacos. Toyak. Wait. Tacos El. Tokayo. 
it's like tacos, but it's also no, it's not takoyaki. Never mind. Is that my sleeping quarters? Oh, look at that! The handy icon underneath to let you know where you're gonna fall. That's great. Um, exit. Wait, how do I get in there? Am I supposed to go up here? Oh, am I? I will say, it's kind of hard to tell what your, uh, where, oh, I guess the pink is where you're supposed to do graffiti? I don't know. Oh, she has a finite, fin I thought she was just going to keep hovering. All right, well, I don't have to do all this now. Let's just keep it moving. Oh, that's how you, wait, oh, I see how you do it. That's how it's done. Uh, in other news, today I watched the uh, Metal Gear Solid reveal. Yo, I kind of want. Wait, it's oh, I gotta go level one, really? Wait, I already did this. Oh, oh, it's the first chapter. Okay, I got you. I kind of want Metal Gear Solid Three, that remake. You know me, I hate stealth games, but I'm like. Eh, kind of feeling it. It looks good. It looks like it looks like a Final Fantasy VII reunion. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII reunion. In the sense that, okay, Midair Glide. In the sense that, um, it's very clearly like an old game with new graphics, but all like the bones of the game. You know, the animation system and the the gameplay more or less, I guess. Well, particularly the animations are probably just the same. You got a graffiti soul. That's literally a graffiti soul. Graffiti soul. That's crazy. Um, Alright, is that what they intended? Okay, yeah, yeah. There you go. Get up there. Um, am I supposed to hit some? Am I supposed to tag some? No, nah, okay. All right, let's see. Okay, that's one. All right, so some of these are, I guess the big ones are like worth three. Maybe it's like Bomb Rush where there's like small, medium, large, XL. Oh, glide to destroy boxes. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool mechanic. Because now you got, now it's really a 3D platform. You got to look all around. You can't just be out here not paying attention to things. All right, I definitely spoke too soon about this being a gaming laptop. I thought I could play this game. I was hopeful it could play this game. I, I top out on like 2D games here. All right, plain and simple as that. Oh, okay, it just stays active. All right. Um, checkpoint. Work. Submit. All right, we, we don't have to be so overt about the corporate... Uh, what should we call Arby's grappling hook? Oh, that's why. That's why she zip zoops because it's a grappling hook. Interesting. All right, it says use grappling hook. That's that's kind of weird because it's not like really clear where I'm latching onto, but like I know where I'm latching onto. Oh, and then you can just break those boxes. Oh, okay, it's the green little things. All right. I would have liked if they just did all these intro mechanics in that first level. Like, I don't like when games really put spread out the intro mechanics, particularly if they're just, like, basic controls. Like, I had access to the grappling hook in the last level, and the gameplay is not glide or melee to destroy enemies. Okay. The gameplay is not so challenging that... Heart! Use it to replenish your health when you've been hurt. The gameplay is not so crazy that you're like, oh my goodness, I can't manage all these different buttons. Like, I, all these buttons are pretty simple. Dope. <gasps> but I haven't been getting, see, I haven't been getting the graffiti. Did I just miss all the graffiti back there? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Destroy all enemies. May we ride on our enemies. 
You know what song I thought of today? I thought of uh, La Late Night by Tupac. That song is a really good song. His uh, his album, All Eyes on Me, is, is one of my favorite rap albums. Um, it has such good songs. Like, well, yes, obviously. It has, like, really good samples. Um, and it's weird because, like, it has kind of, like, a commercial sound to it. It's, it's far more poppy than some of his other stuff. But I like it because of that. All right, I can see where, just playing this game to start, I can see where unless they introduce new movement tech, I could see this game getting kind of boring. It looks good, though. I like the stylized, kind of cell shady look it has. That's not bad. Is this the end? This better not be the end. Because if it is, I literally missed all those freaking coins. It can't be the end. Ain't no way this is the end. Error. Boss fight for boss time. No? Okay. <gasps> Ooh, get those coins. Oh, that's weird. Ah, oh, that's how they get you. You gotta look around. You really gotta look around. I definitely missed one. I'm, I'm almost 100% sure I missed one if that's the case. All right, but I'll finish this level and then call it an episode. Um, I I think that it's interesting because like, so this game, the thing about these kinds of platforms, the thing that works about Yellow Taxi Goes Room is that you don't have to really look around to find the the things you have to collect. You just kind of stumble upon them and then you're like, okay, how do I figure it out? How do I get there? Whereas in this game, this is the kind of this is the kind of game where it kind of wants you to look around and like you have to go to the nook into the cranny and while that's fine like I, I totally get having to like wander through and look and it does almost break the immersion of the game because it's not something you do naturally right bomber cyberpunk you are naturally going to explore a lot of different places because you're trying to create you know the best combo lines and you know, reach higher areas. So you're naturally like looking around and trying to make higher jumps and whatnot. In this game, it kind of feels like to look for the TVs, the TVs, the, 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 the graffiti spots are not necessarily well integrated yet. Not in a way that I'm like, oh man, I totally, don't you, don't you, oh God, don't say, don't you dare fall off. Not a way where I'm like, okay, I'm uh, just going to casually run through this area and find, you know, the, uh, the graffiti spots it feels very much like i have to stop look for them and see what i come across again not a terrible thing it's just it feels a little bit less organic than something like yellow taxi where there's stuff everywhere and you just are like running around look, like getting stuff and doing stuff and eventually one thing leads to another oh yeah i missed two i missed a i missed a mofo all righty All right, I'm going to title this video The First 25 Minutes of Rakugaki because, oh, I forgot there was an extra thing I had to look for, the ghost. I like this music, though. It's head nodding. I know what this is. That's the sound of DBZ Kakarot on the Xbox. I'm going uh, I'm to install that on the Series X. I could put it on the One X. Oh, here, shh, just listen. Yeah, we do unboxings now, apparently. Apparently, we just do unboxings. Um, all right, well, uh, yeah, I'm going to go install that on my Series X now, and uh, I'll probably play this again. I, this might be a full playthrough. Like, this literally might be a full playthrough. I'm just, like, I just, who knows? Because I like this game. Can my, can I, can my computer run it? Not really, but, uh... I'll definitely come back and play some more of it. But that's going to do it for this episode of what I'm playing. Potentially a full Let's Play of Rakugaki. As always, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.